Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. When is the pendulum going to be back? I was a founding member of Leaders and Company that gave birth to this day newspaper. Unduka Obaibin and myself remain brothers for, for life. So whenever I want to go back, all I have to do is call Unduka and say, go back to your page. But I am very, very occupied with so many things I have to do. You know, before I went into this journey, I was building my library resort in Ibadan. So now I want to concentrate on that because I have completed it in 1995 defense. So I need to Talk of the library. That's where I want to be. I I, I envy the lives of people like Wolefi Oyika, the late you know Achebe, Ungugi Wasiongo. That's the kind of life I want to live. I believe that all my knowledge will be wasted if I don't go back to certain institutions of learning to deliver the knowledge that I have and give to the younger ones. So that's I'm planning my retirement already. I'm not a career politician. I cannot be a career politician. So I know that I feel universities talking to me at home and abroad. I don't know where I will go, but I'll be very, very happy to be a teacher and live happily there. Now, do you think that your political uh, leanings, you know, is going to have any um effect on your business, especially now that Ashwad Bola will be taking over as the next uh, president, except how, how, uh, something happened. How, how will it affect my business? I have always been in opposition. <laughs> we are in a democracy. I have always been in opposition. <laughs> That's what people don't remember. I have never been a government person. If my business depended on government, then it will be affected. But my business is dependent on OAMBE, on lifestyle, people doing bad things. I will carry my picture, my camera. Even while I was working for Atiku, did you not see me posting a pictures of? If if you go overnight, even in the middle of the night, I will see posting the bad day, sixty bad day of you know like last night. I'm the one posting all those things. I'm not a lazy man. I started social media when I contested the twenty eleven presidential uh, election, and immediately that was over. I went back to my business. Whenever I support a candidate, once it is over, I go back to my... I'm in opposition. My business has nothing to do with government. I'm not going to go to Tinubu and say, oh yeah, come and give probation advert or come and do... I don't even think government these days do all that anyway. I've been posting Buhari, despite my disagreement with Buhari, I am the only outsider. As by Omoburiwo or Sunday Agaizi or Tolani and me in the office of the vice president. I've been posting their pictures since 2014 to date, free of charge. You want to ask them? My life does not depend on government. So if I could do that, they send me the picture. I can open my email. You will see if there is any picture taken today about Buhari, you will see it in my email. Directly from the president, I don't take anything personal. No. Now, the, the obedience, you know, those uh, who are supporting the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, P2B, they're also laying claims, you know, to the presidential election. They are saying they won. PDP is saying they won. Who exactly won the election? He claimed to you that they won. Where? We knew they we won, but it's not our business to declare the result. We, we obey the rule of law. Pay the rule of law. We went to court to say a process was not followed. Okay. You will not see article anywhere saying this is what I, when he gets to court, he will prove his case. So the obedience have their right. And Dr. Peter B says he won. So we are waiting. I have nothing. If he's able to prove it, who can stop him? Nobody can stop him. So what would be your advice to the obedience members of the obedience group? I don't have any problems other than the fact that in a democracy, democracy is different from revolution. So we must get that straight. Some of us went to prison for democracy. Some of us were in exile. I lost everything. You you knew how ovation started when I was in exile and everything. And you were part of those who wrote the earlier stories for ovation. And I'm thanking you once again. And you supported me. You traveled with me across Nigeria when I was contesting the election. Thank you so much, Azua Rinze. Is it? But my advice is that I know so many people who love Peter Obi, but they are scared of his supporters. That people are taking it as if it's a fight. Uh, if I have been seeing the fight between the famous actress, Yabo Ujo, and some people attacking her, she has a right to support the obedient. 
And while the other people who supported Atiku had the right, those who supported Tinubu, they have their right. There is no friend of mine have fought because of politics. Tokuba, you know, is a die hard Tinubu. We remain the best of friends. In fact, we don't talk anything once it comes to politics. You just say, hey, Bobby, well done. Hey, Tokuba, well done. That is what politics is. It's a democracy. If in a democracy I don't have the freedom of choice, then it is no longer a democracy. So my advice to the, the obedience is that when people disagree with them, they should just take it calmly. They shouldn't bother. Because just like they can't change you, you also cannot change them. It's the same way you were saying those who are abusing me should not abuse. No, they have their mouth, they have their fingers, and they have their data to burn. Let them burn it. They shouldn't bother you. A leader, do you know what I mean? If Look, if abuses were king, most of our leaders would have been dead long ago. So, democracy is about choice. So, the obedience should allow everybody to have their choice, and you should stop saying, you can't, nobody, for example, can force me to join any party if I don't want to join the party. Now, the, 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 the governorship and the state houses of assembly election will be coming up the, 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 the weekend after this one. Um, how prepared is your party that's talking about PDP for that election? Oh, of course, PDP is the oldest mainstream political party, the only one standing in Nigeria. So you must know that we have a lot of supporters. We have our structures nationwide. Uh, in Lagos, if election were free and fair, I expect that we will do very well. And don't forget that our candidate, Jando, comes from the old APC before he joined. And if you ask our mutual friends, you know, like Kingsley, James, you know, KJV and all of them, they will tell you, uh, she will say that this very apartment was one of the first places that the Andor visited over four, five years ago to tell me that he would like to be governor. And he came for his And when he was going to move from APC to PDP, he came to meet me alone, one on one in the middle of the night at a hotel signature where he confided in me that he was coming to PDP and I said that would be fantastic because you need a mainstream political party to actualize the law. You see, it's just that the way Lagos is going now, I'm very worried. There's no reason for us to fight that thing. The governor, Baba Jide Sangolu, is a fantastic friend is, is someone I've known, you know, it almost forever. One of his best friends, you know, Dayo Ade Dayo, was our major photographer in Ovation. So we are all connected one way or the other. So now I'm somewhere in the middle of all these things. <laughs> and the Labour Party candidate is also, I've, I've watched him, I don't have a personal relationship with him, but I've watched him. He looks like a gentleman. So Lagos is blessed to have three of them in the top positions. Funke, Jennifer Akindele is someone that I hold very dear, extremely gifted, very talented woman. It would be nice to see that combination. So, but I won't do antipathy. I'm PDP. So anybody who knows me knows I won't do, no matter how close I am to you. If I do not do antipathy for Tinobu, then I'm not going to do antipathy for any other candidate. But I wish our candidate very, very well. He's working very hard. He's the only one I know who has visited every nook and cranny of Lagos, places that nobody, no politician has ever visited. He's been there. So he deserves his victory and he deserves his glory.